We're going to start off today um, by looking at stairs. Um, and, and I will say this, um, I'm kind of showing you stairs more, more particularly to show you the complications of Revit stairs and why they're so terrible. Um, but you can do basic stairs um, <laughs> fairly well and fairly easily in, in Revit. So um, anyway, uh, we have the first floor right here that looks like this and our second floor looks like that. And this is the edge of our, um, uh, the edge of our second floor plate, right? So we have kind of this uh, atrium sort of mezzanine looking area right here. Um, what we're going to do is turn on the, the, back, uh, the overlay of the second floor, and then we're going to work with that as our guide. So um, make sure you have nothing selected and go into properties, and we'll turn uh, base level onto level two. So that way, oh great, I get the roof. Hang on. Level two, top level, unbounded, look down. These are all new to me. Uh, huh. Top level, level two. There we go. Wow, that's weird. Um, okay, so uh, range base level is going to be level one, and your top level is going to be level two. Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, so anyway, we're going to build a stair. Uh, all you have to do is activate the stair command. Um, these are kind of defaults. Um, I do want to call out that both the uh, cast in place and the precast stairs are going to be um, concrete stairs. And uh, the assembled stair is the one that's kind of like your typical um, office building kind of stair. It's the one, uh, let me find an image real quick. Um, <coughs> oh, of course, all the fancy ones come up when I'm not trying to find a fancy one. Um, yeah, this is close. It's a little fancy, but um, it looks a little bit like that, right? Where it's a stair uh, plate and then it's actually held up by stringers. Something like that is your typical one. Okay, so that's, that's what the assembled stair default is. Um, but the cool thing about these stairs is um, you have your, uh, let's see, base level and your top level, and it will automatically calculate um, how many risers you need in order to go from, from one level to the next. So when I start to draw the center line of my stair, it literally tells me how many are remaining before my stair is complete. So once I get to 18, I just click and it's done. Um, it's a pretty smart element. You can just switch this to however many feet wide. Um, I think it's like four foot six. That's probably about right. I'll just leave it right there at four foot six. Okay, um, so I'm going to check that off real fast. And um, so anyway, this is on my first floor. Um, make sure you note that because um, if you build it on the second floor, it's going to go to the roof and you don't want that. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do to work on the railings, though, is to just put a section right down the stair. And oftentimes this is a, a, a useful thing to do when you first start your stair um, construction because you're going to need this section anyway. Oh, look at that. I drew it backwards. Um, all right. Let's, I'm just going to do DM. Flip that thing around. And then move this back. Done. Okay. So that's my assembled stair. Um, and then we're going to start to work on the railing, but the railings are going to be kind of a, a whole other conversation. But um, what questions do you have about stairs? I know you've seen it before in a basic sense, but okay. All right, let's just jump into the railings. That's what you're here for anyway. <laughs> 